All right, welcome everyone back to our Fire Emblem Path of Radiance for newcomers. I'm Jokester1801, and today we're doing Chapter 6. So let's get started. Chapter 6, A Brief Diversion. Here's our good old map, friend. We'll see a lot more of it. The continent of Tellius, blessed by the goddess. To the northwest lies the land, land of Crimea, home to the Grail mercenaries. So there's Crimea in yellow. Without warning, Crimea's eastern neighbor, the Kingdom of Dane, launches an attack on Crimea's capital city of Melior. So there's Dane in the top right, in red. Red because they're evil, right? <laughs> so somehow they just completely did all of that, bypassing any defenses Crimea had. Ike leads a handful of mercenaries to Meliwood to confirm Soren's news of the attack. En route, they happen upon a young woman, unconscious but unharmed. Fearing for her safety, they take her to their stronghold. When she awakens, the woman gives her name as Alencia and lays claim to the title Princess of Crimea. She relates the sad tale of her flight from Crimea and of her parents' murder at the hands of Ashnard, King of Dane. The Grail mercenaries answer Princess Alencia's plea for help, and agree to escort her to the Kingdom of Gallia. There's Gallia, right below Crimea. Located to the southwest of Crimea, Gallia is home to the Legus, a race quite unlike Ike and his fellow Bjork. The Legus, dun dun dun. Crimea and Gallia have long struggled to overcome their differences. In recent years, the two kingdoms have done much to ease the prejudice between the Lagoos and Bjork faction factions. Their combined effort efforts have forged a bond of trust and friendship that may yet overcome years of intolerance. Ike and company escape the Dane army abandoning their longtime base. From there, they begin the long march towards Gallia. Their task clear and their destination far, they slip into an ocean of trees. So yeah, basically, we're trying to take um, Alencia to the Crimean capital, or the Gall Gallian capital, so that she can be safe from the Dane army. A brief diversion. Blazes, why does it have to be so blamed humid? If we weren't being chased, I would, I'd strip off this armor here and now. Then I'm almost glad that we are being pursued. I suppose you'll have to grin and bear it, won't you? Hmm, I suppose I will. Right, so enough of your griping. You're merely wasting energy. Still, this heat is appalling. Dense forests such as these are not made for us delicate humans. The subhumans love them, though. These subhumans, are they really so different from us? What, you mean to tell me you've never seen a beast man before? No, never. Well, I have. They're a hairy bunch, I'll tell you. And ugly as sin, too. Their faces are all fangs and whisker. Their claws are like daggers, razor sharp and deadly. And even though they can speak our language, they're beasts through and through. Savages, everyone. Very discriminatory and, quite frankly, racist. Are there more than one type? The ones Shinon calls subhumans can be divided into three groups, each one named for its physical characteristics. First, the beast tribe, next the bird tribe, and finally, the dragon tribe. They are traditionally called Lagoos. The Lagoos tribe residing here in Gallia is the Beast tribe, which possess those feline qualities of which Shinon spoke. To the south are the islands where the birdmen live. The dragons are in Goldoa. It's something every mercenary should know. Looks like you know even less than I gave you credit for, Ike, my boy. Hmm, perhaps. A little farther and we'll be out of these trees, Ike. Really? That means Gallia proper. Compared to this forest, even a kingdom of half-breeds will seem like heaven. Very discriminatory from Shinon. Very disgusting. And that's when we lost track of them. I assigned a squad to pursue them in return so I could give you this report. Understood. You may step down. So Princess Alencia is making her way through the forest to Gallia. Enna! It appears your advice was sound. Well done. You have earned my praise. Thank you. When the king assigned me a tactician, I wondered if what I had done lose his trust. When I saw it was a young girl... I burned with anger at the king's judgment. Still, it's worked out better than I had expected. Keep up the good work. Of course. Now then, it's time for the hunt to begin. She's so evil. 
Hold it right there, everyone. We're coming to the edge of the, for of the forest. Form up. Combat positions. I don't suppose our Dane pursuers were willing to let us just slip away. There is no doubt they will attack again. Without knowing their numbers, it is difficult to advise a course of action. Take your best guess, Sorn. With the limited information we have, what's the best way to proceed? Some of our group cannot fight. If we're caught, we'll have a difficult time defending them and attacking the Danes. I suppose we separate into two groups, a small fighting force to engage the enemy and buy the main group some time, and the rest of us who will escort the Princess de Gallia at full speed. You want to divide our combat strength? The main force aside, don't you think the risk to the smaller group is too high? I believe this is the only way to achieve our goal and keep casualties to a minimum. It's possible there's an ambush waiting for us at the edge of the forest. If we proceed with no plan, we may be caught between the pursuit and the ambush, which would be the end of us all. Looks like we've got no choice but to give it a go. Alright, let's split up. The diverse the diversionary team will be Gatri, Shinon, and me. The rest of you guard Princess Alencia and proceed to Gallia straight away. Got it? Are you sure you're taking enough men? Idiot, pup. Smaller numbers mean better mobility. Your time would be better spent worrying about yourself than about us. Listen up, this will probably prove to be the biggest fight this company's faced. Remember, you've got only one life. I don't want any of you dying on it. In times like these, it matters not what our blood ties are. We are family. If you don't want to cause your family any grief, then live. Ike will be commanding the main force. Titania, you're, su you're his support. Alright, let's move out. See you all in Gallia. What confidence. Wow, look at that ambush just waiting for us. Unfortunately for them, we're going to tear through them. So, they're waiting for us after all. There are more of them than I'd imagined there would be. I thought they would have been spread out across the forest border. I didn't expect to see so many in one place. Do we rethink our strategy? No, we've already split up. It's too late to reconsider now. Isn't there some way we can at least get the princess, Mist, and Rolf to the far shore safely? There are two bridges. This thicket extends to the edge of the westernmost bridge. If we can use the trees as cover, we might be able to reach the bridge undetected. From there, we can launch a surprise attack. We'll be creating a diversion, right? Correct. While we keep the enemy's attention, the princess and the others can cross the bridge to safety. We've got we've no time for discussion. That's the plan we go with. My lord Ike, I I will fight with you. No, you won't. My lord, I cannot let you expose yourself to danger of any kind. Everyone here is risking his life to ensure your safety. If you understand that, you'll cooperate and do as I ask. I see. I will do my part. It's settled then. Right, let's break through their lines. Mist, Rolf, take care of the princess. Don't, do not let yourselves be seen. Right, be careful everyone. Leave it to us, Ike. We'll just pretend it's, pretend it's a game of hide and seek. And I never lose at hide and seek. So childish. Alright, everyone ready? Let's go. So if we look at our conditions, 6 versus 18, fair odds, right? So our victory condition this time is escape, and defeat, as always, is Ike dies. So basically we have to escape at this point. Um, one thing that's important to note is that we get more bonus experience if we escape um, with everyone than just with one person. However, to clear the map, just Ike has to escape. So just Ike has to go to this. Um, spot and then press the escape option Now if you look at our map here We've got a poleaxe guy here. This guy does Increased damage against horseback. So it's like the hammer that we faced last time except this time it's against horse units So Oscar and Titania So he would have 25 attack against them, which is a lot considering Oscar has eight defense um, And then we also have this knight here Boyd actually has a hammer, so he would do increased damage against the knight. So we're actually going to have Boyd go to the right. Now one thing that's a little annoying is we start out in these trees, and there's this big tree that just kind of blocks us, and so we have very limited mobility in this first turn. Um, our other plan is just Oscar and Titania are going to kind of clear out the left side, while Ike and Boyd clear out the right side. With so that's a pretty standard... Let's just kind of go for it. And let's make sure we got items how we want them. So Boyd probably doesn't need two iron axes. So we'll give one to this here. That way if Boyd picks something up, it's okay. 
All right, let's go for it. Doo -doo -doo. The boy can run out and attack this guy. He could kill him, which is awesome. Can Oscar get this one? Oscar could get this one too. Great. Ooh, and an Oscar level up. Where's that strength? Strength, skill, speed, defense. Awesome. That was a great level up. So now Oscar can almost hold a javelin. And almost, I mean, he only gets minus three from the steel lance, which is great. Titania is just going to go straight down. Ike can just kind of come out here. We do have to be careful. Um, Boyd's actually just going to come out, take out this javelin dude. I love that he's able to take him out in one round. That's so helpful. And then, I don't want Soren to get attacked by this guy, because he has 14 attack, and Soren has 2 defense. So we're just going to put Soren there, and then we'll have this come down. We spotted the mercenaries! You there! Inform General Patrine at once! Request that she gather the troops! Yes, sir! Bye, bud. Alright, they're coming for us. So this guy came and attacked Ike. That's perfectly fine. Riss can heal him. And Soren could finish off that guy too. And then we have Polak's guy coming in hot too. So yeah, Riss can run out here. Heal up Ike. Ike could take out the Polak's guy. We could also have Boyd do it, I bet. Riss is now C staffs, which is great. Um, Soren's going to move out here. So the reason I didn't just leave Soren here is because if I move in and then attack, Soren will be closer to the combat for the next turn and he won't fall behind. And so would recommend doing that because if I left Soren back there, he would fall behind and it would be harder for him to keep up in the next couple turns. So Ike could take him out. He's level 10 though. Boyd's level 6. So let's see if Boyd can take him out. Boyd can't quite take him out, so maybe Ike could weaken him, and then Boyd could get the kill. Yeah, that sounds perfect. I can't believe Ike got hit from a 23% chance to get hit, but sometimes things like that happen. So we do get this Poleaxe. The Poleaxe was pink, remember, so we do get it. Ooh, speed, Boyd, speed. Strength, luck, defense. Defense and strength are great. I would love some speed from Boyd, though. And so now this knight can't quite get us, so we're okay there. Um, I don't think Oscar... Oh, Oscar could kill here. Um, so we could have Oscar kill here, or Oscar could attack the archer. And could kill there. The real question is, can Titania kill here? She can. So let's have Oscar take out the archer, and then... That way he doesn't face a counterattack. And that Titania could take out the, the sword... The Myrmidon there. And now, I'm going to put Oscar in range of this this knight here as well. So knight. Great. Titania didn't even face any counterattack damage. And then she'll just go right here next to Oscar. I generally like leaving my horse units together because they can move similar amounts. And so Titania and Oscar can keep up with each other really well. So now we have some soldiers coming in hot. Oscar clearly did not do enough damage to kill this knight. He's so close. So we're going to have Titania just take out the knight here. Perfect damage. 7 times 2. Very nice. And then we'll have Titania move forward. And then we'll have Oscar take out this guy. Using his Steel Lance. Good dodge from Oscar. And now Oscar has B lances, which is great. And then um, this mage can't attack Boyd if he moves all the way forward. And then we could have Boyd use the hammer so that when the knight attacks him, Boyd will do 10 times 2 is 20 plus 10. So he'll do 31 attack minus 9. 31 minus 9 is 22 plus 1 because weapon triangle advantage. And so Boyd would at was going to hit this guy for 20 feet. And this guy has 0 speed. Unfortunately, Boyd also has 0 speed. So Boyd won't double him. 
therefore won't be able to kill him, but he will be able to do a good amount of damage. So we'll heal up Ike again. And then have Ike move forward. So yeah, this guy's going to attack Oscar. That's exactly what I thought would happen. And then Oscar kills him, which is great. So now we get another Oscar level up. We're hoping for strength and speed again. Strength, speed, resistance. I'll take that. And so now this guy can attack Void, which is perfectly fine. Void's going to do 24 damage. Similar to what we calculated. And then we have some other people moving in hot. Now Soren, because we moved Soren forward in that turn two turns ago, he's able to attack this guy. So it's just important to point things like that out because your decisions can affect where your your decisions ultimately determine where your units are, which will then determine what kinds of options you have in upcoming turns. So since Void has axes, he faces disadvantage against this guy. And so it's not really worth it for me to have Void attack him. And so we'll have Ike just take him out. And then Boyd can attack the Priest guy. So we're facing our first enemy mage. This guy has 8 attack. Similar to what Soren has. Um, he, so he's going to do a good amount because our Boyd has 0 resistance. Ike has 2, so he'll do 8 damage. But he can't double us because he only has 5 speed. Um, so we're perfectly fine to just take... A solitary 8 damage. So Boyd can't kill this um, healer, but he can do a good amount of damage. The reason I didn't want to use like the hammer or the steel axe or anything like that is it wouldn't have killed, first of all. And then second of all, it would have put Boyd where he would get doubled from this guy. And 8 times 2 is a lot of damage for Boyd to sustain. Alright, and then we just kind of bring up these guys. And have them be next to each other and just kind of move forward. What's this? They're not bad. Let's go, men. Hit those mercenary scum with everything you have. So the healer ran away because he's in danger of dying. Hopefully Oscar doesn't die here. That would be unfortunate. Good kill from Oscar, though. And then, okay, that guy attacked Ike. That's perfectly fine. Alright, so we could have Soren attack. He does 4 times 2. Um, and then Void could finish off. Alternatively, Ike could finish off. Yeah, we could have Ike finish off. So let's have Soren just move forward. He doesn't receive any damage, which is nice. And then Boyd can come up, get the kill here. Alternatively, we could have Boyd. Let's have Boyd take out the priest here. That way the priest doesn't heal anybody. And then Ike could just take out the, the mage. Strength, Ike, strength. Come on, buddy. We need that strength on Ike. Nine strength is not going to cut it. Alright, and then we can have Oscar finish off this guy here. So one thing that's really important to do is check out the boss. So I'm going to actually have Oscar retreat. And that's because the boss here has a short spear. Which lets him attack at 1-2 range. Which means he can attack up close and um, from, one ra from two squares away. And he has 17 attack, which is a good amount. He would do 8 damage to Oscar. Um, Titania can actually run up and weaken the boss, though, which is something I would love for her to do. Try me! I'll not let even a single soldier get past. That's what you think, bub. So now he's very weakened. And then I'll just have Titania be in range of him. So he does get some health from his space there. And then what he did is he traded a Volinary from the other soldier dude so that he could heal himself. We'll heal up Ike again. And then bring Ike forward. 
be great if Boyd could kill this guy, but he can't. Could Bo how much Boyd, how much damage? He does 11. How much does Oscar do? He does 12. So between Boyd and Oscar, we could actually kill the boss, which we're going to go for. So Oscar survives, and then Oscar can just run away a little bit, and then Boyd can run up. And... He would survive even if he missed, so we're going to go for it. Good kill from Boyd. Oh, my life ends here, but though you flee to Gallia, you will fall to Dane. And there we go. Got the boss out of our way, which is great. Speed. Come on, what a horrible level up from Boyd. So we got the short spear. Unfortunately, we have to discard an item because... Void um, doesn't have space because you only get four weapon slots. We already have an extra iron axe, and so we'll just drop that. One. So dropping means that you get rid of it. So Void has two speed. This guy has so eleven weight. Seven minus eleven is minus four. So eight minus four is four. So he doesn't double Void, which is fine. So that means Titania can just escape. Ike, I'm going ahead. I'll keep the road secure. So the reason I was trying to make that distinction is if Boyd would die to this guy, then Titania could have just killed him. But it was unnecessary, so. So we'll have Soren run up and attack here. Because Soren can't escape anyway. And the reason I'm having Soren attack is because even if he gets hit, which he didn't, Riss was in range to heal him. Oh, the critical from Soren. Awesome. Speed. Magic skill speed res. Nice. That was a great level up. Makes up for Boyd's really bad level up. <laughs> and we can just shove, I guess. But anyway, we can just have people escape. I'm going to ride ahead, Ike. I want to see if there are more enemy units ahead. Are you sure you don't need me to stay behind and watch your back? Alright. And then we can just finish off next turn. Escape. I wonder if I should really go on ahead. You'd better hurry, Ike. I don't like it, but I'll follow your orders and go ahead. But Ike, watch yourself. Alright, let's finish. Time to get out of here. And there we go. Finish the battle. I don't know how, but we made it. Brother, my lord Ike, Mist, Princess, Rolf, are you well? Yep, we're fine. Is this Gallia? We made it, didn't we? We're safe now, right? I thought I would feel different, but I don't. This is all due to your efforts. Thank you, Princess Alencia. It's still too early to rest easy. The others haven't rejoined us yet. Ah, we are talking about the commander. I don't think there's anything to worry about. Father, Shinon, Katri. Princess Alencia, I'm afraid we're going to have to part ways here. But what do you mean? We're going back to aid our companions. So I want you to con continue with Mist to the Royal Palace of Gallia. What? No, Ike, I'm going to stay with you. Listen to me, Mist. We must do it this way so that everyone gets out of here alive. Hmm. Father and I will catch up to you right away. Don't worry. Have Father and I... Have Father or I ever broken a promise to you? Well, no. All right, then. We'll go on. We'll go ahead. Thank you, Mist. We'll see you soon. All right. Titania, please take care of my brother. Promise? You have my word on it. Oscar. Boyd. Don't get killed out there, all right? Rolf, knock it off, both of you. You're like a couple of old women. We're going to be fine. Nothing bad's going to happen while I'm around. Pardon, my lord Riss? Y yes Take this with you, please. This is a men's staff, isn't it? Or are you sure this is all right? Every one of you is putting yourself in harm's way on my account. I only hope that staff can mitigate, mitigate your risks even slightly. Woohoo. We got a mend. Thank you very much. This will help greatly. I will use it to aid the others in your name. Thank you. Please be careful. If you'll excuse me. Oh, benevolent Ashera, grant them all your blessings. Alright, we're going to go now. Good luck. Watch your step and be careful. We'll see all of you again. I'm sure of it. I know you will all be safe. Let's get moving. Where to, Soren? Let's g we go east on the road we used before. Let's find the commander before the enemy reinforcements show up. And there we have it. And here's our bonus experience. So we got 300 for finishing within a certain amount of turns. And then we got 60 for all the allies that escaped. 
So bonus experience is something that hasn't come up yet, but when it does come up, we will uh, explain it then. And that's chapter six. Thanks for joining us, and we hope to see you next time.